we had no choice but to hide. We had no, no choice but to get inside a shack. Next thing we know, shots are being fired, Summers goes down, and ended up with all you on the ground. You and your crew. That's right, he did go down. He went down first. It was this pistol that did it right here in my holster. You were saying yes. about the word friendship? About the mm -hmm. word friend? The very few people I've heard you say it. There's another word that rarely comes out of my mouth, and only a select few have ever heard it. And that's I'm sorry. I knew that when you told me those words, it meant something. And I figured if this man is gonna give me the respect, I'm gonna give him 10 times the respect back. I didn't expect you to get involved. I expected you to go to talk to someone. That's what I was hoping you would do. That's what I knew you would do. I didn't expect anybody here to pick up a gun for me or for my people. That's my battle. I didn't expect anybody here to intervene. But when I gunned that bastard down, and then we hit the floor, and then I heard a familiar voice step over our bodies, and then another familiar voice say, have fun with your corpses. Is that what y'all wanted us to be corpses? Tell me what would a friend had done? I knew a friend would have never uttered those words. But those were the words that were uttered. Maybe there was a deeper game that you were playing. I don't know. Here, I enlightened me. We spoke of communication. People have been coming, checking in with you and your family. No one's ever done that of my people ever. Maybe somebody around here who said those words could utter that same word I did in the desert. The one that sounds sorry, like an apology. Who did it? Yeah, it was me. I didn't mean it like that, though. Oh, here we go. You didn't mean it like that, Ali? How else did you fucking mean it, huh? I joke Keep your mouth fucking thing. shut and no. keep walking. Why do I even try? Why do you even try what, Ali? Try explaining myself. I'm just gonna get yelled at no matter what I do. What's done is done. Yeah, and I just apologize to the man. Not an easy thing for me to do either, by the way. But that doesn't matter now, does it? I ain't gonna let somebody else take the fall for something I said. I said it. I didn't mean it maliciously. I didn't mean it anything like that. I got a fucked up sense of humor. That's all there was to it. I don't, it doesn't matter if you believe me or not, but I am sorry I said it and I'm sorry you took it that way. I think it needs to make uh, an example. That's right. Well, as you can see, Jack, those words, we would never say such a thing for you or your crew. As much as it told me at that moment to just walk out of there the way I did, I had to, I had no fucking choice. I need you to understand that I had no choice but to leave. Anything I would have done for you or for Summers would have dragged us in. Anything. But I want you to know, despite that, I would never say those words to you. Ali here spoke out of line. Mr. Toscano, Oliver Toscano. <laughs> Usually the dark sense of humor to try to justify that kind of shit, Ali. Really now. <laughs> Get in line, you kid. You understand me? The kind of shit you get is. Look at the kind of shit you fucking get is. You loud fucking mouth, huh? You wanna drag us into a fucking war? Huh? You want these fucking people to gun you down in the street? You little bitch. Fuck no! You ever speak out of this fucking cut again? Speaking with a family like that. I gouge your second eye out, huh? I gouge your second fucking eye out. Leave it out for the bros. <laughs> You want to talk about friendship? Yeah, there's friendship. You can rest assured, we wish nothing ill for you and your crew. We just could not get involved. I understand, I'm satisfied. Guys. 